Hey guys and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to control your TV power via HDMI CEC with hap-node.js. Um, so the first command you want to run is sudo wget and uh, this link. Um, this link will be in the description. It's actually an installation script. Um, this is going to simplify the installation quite a bit as it's going to automatically run all the commands for you. Um, so it's going to make it a lot quicker for you guys. Um, so, um, so once you hit enter, um, it should go through. And there you go, it shows the file is saved. It should be saved as install TV. And uh, so the next command you want to run is sudo chmod plus x install TV. Click enter. And the next command is sudo chmod uh, 777 install TV. And you just want to click enter. And so the next command is uh, sudo sh install TV. And this is going to automatically run the installation. So um, I'm going to forward through it. It can take some time. Um, so just uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the installation. So after the installation, um, you want to go to the hap-node.js directory, okay? And then uh, you want to go to the accessories directory, and then you want to run the command sudo nano tv accessory.js. This will take us to the text editor, and uh, you want to go down a few lines to where it says var siri name, and uh, here you can say see it says Visio TV in the quotes. And then you can change where it says Visio TV to anything you want. So when you say uh, turn on the TV, you can say Sony, you can say Visio again, or you can say Philips. So this is what you want to say to Siri. So uh, make sure the quotes are still there. So in my case, it's Visio. Um, so you want to scroll down a little. Uh, some of you might notice that it says Visio TV here too. You can just ignore that. It's a local variable. So that's not going to really affect your experience. Um, if you want, you could change it, but it's not really going to matter at all. So next, you want to scroll down a few more lines to where it says outlet username. And here, there's a Mac ID. So you want to change just a few of the letters to different letters and numbers. Uh, make sure it's in, still in the same format. So here, I'm just changing a B to an A, a B to a C, etc doesn't really um, matter what you do but make sure it's still in the same similar format capitalized and everything and so here's an optional step if you just look down it should say manufacturer and everything it doesn't really matter what you set this to you can set this to whatever you want but it's you, even if you don't change it doesn't really matter and so in the rest of the line you don't want to touch that um, that's the actual code we don't want to touch any of that but everything else so you can do control X Y and hit enter and you should be good on and so here now you can uh, start, uh, you can go back to the previous directory, sir. And uh, you want to go to the TV directory in the main hap-node.js directory. So you want to go to CD TV and then LS and um, it'll show you the two files. Uh, make sure you have those two files. And then you want to go to CD dot dot and you want to go to the main hap-node.js directory. That's what CD dot dot does. It goes to the previous directory. And um, you want to run the command sudo forever start bridge core dot js. Or uh, if you didn't use the forever installation, um, you can just run the sudo node bridged core.js. Whatever you did, uh, just uh, do that. So, and um, what, you, what you did in the initial installation. So if you did core.js, do core.js. Um, doesn't really matter. But that's it.